what if you could change the world? What would you do? And I know you've had that thought. We've all had that thought at some time in our lives that we want to change the world, especially when we're looking at our world and seeing it's really terrible and something should be different. But the fact is you will change the world because that's why you were born. It just takes us a while to understand that and to come to um, believe it, actually, because it can show up in really extraordinary ways. Yesterday, I was um, prompted to put together a message that came out today that says you will change your world. And that was speaking to each of us because we're all born to do that because it's something that's within us that we were born to bring to the world. And if we were to do that, the world would change. That's what would happen. That's how evolution occurs because each person decides to develop something and bring something new into the world. And then we see things change, but we don't always do that because we don't believe in ourselves. That's what happens. Or we think that we're accidental or we um, don't matter or we don't have enough power or ability or whatever it is. And all of those things are totally incorrect. So after I put that message out, because I did it yesterday, um, I was guided to do that. I mean, usually I do them in the morning, but sometimes I it's very clear. Do it, do it now because I can feel the energies that were changing in the world. Because you understand that everything is energy, you see, the way you experience yourself, the way you see the world, all of that, and the way that you create your life is all energy, the way we create the world, same thing. And then we only have two ways of doing that. We're going to either use love, meaning that we're loving ourselves and expanding and going to a new place within us, or we're going to use fear, meaning that we're going to stay where we are and try to go back to something that was old that didn't serve us or anyone else. That's what we do, and that's what we do throughout civilization. We can go back and study our ancient history, and we can see that that happens. And then we can see that certain things repeat in their patterns. So then we discovered that there's an order in the universe. And what they did last night, they, my guides, Wilhelm, had me put down several messages over different years. I didn't know why I was doing that last night. And then they said, now go back further. And so I went back to another year, which would probably make more sense today. Because what happens over time as humans, we develop in our consciousness and what we can understand and what we can develop and use in the world over linear time. That is how it works. We can look back 500 years and know that the world doesn't look anything um, like it does now that as it did then, because we've developed new things. We can look at even today, there's so much happening very quickly because the world is accelerating too. So we have AI, we have all kinds of things that are coming out. So just after that, I'm going off to do something else. And this message came up and this will be the best one. And I'm going to read it to you. And if you look at um, the message that's on anyadvicefortoday.com, you can read the one that I was told to put up there and you'll see the different messages and then you'll see how your brain changes because it's your mind. The only thing that ever changes is your consciousness, meaning how you look at yourself, how you view the world and how you experience yourself. You have complete control of that. But we develop things over time that come in through individuals and mine was bringing in this work. And then to discover I had something that could change the world because it's just just science. That's all that it is. We understand energy now. We understand how things change. So why aren't we using it? It's that lack of belief again. Yeah, I had tons of it. That's why I hid for so long. I, I was talking to a friend last night and uh, um, just before all of this. And I was feeling guilty because I told him, I said, I, I haven't been back to next level soul because I told Alex I was going to give him this money. And I didn't I didn't do that That's because I didn't didn't have it because I wasn't selling. I wasn't honoring who I was. That's when we have lack. We don't honor who we are and we don't allow things to come in. So I knew that. But this message was kind of surprising and you will love it. And um, it speaks to every single person. September 24th, 2019. Please humor us for just a bit as you dive into this message, and you may be pleasantly surprised at the end. What if you were born, what if before you were born, you knew the right guardians to choose 
who would offer you everything you needed to be successful? What if you knew that you chose them with very specific perceived flaws so that you could develop your characteristics that would diminish their flaws? What if you knew that every relationship in which you would choose to enter was for the express purpose of causing you to know who you are and become more? What if you knew every experience of lack you would provide yourself would also hold the impetus for you to actualize yourself and manifest abundance? What if you knew that particular physical ailments you would choose to endure would be the ones that cause you to know you are far more than a physical body? What if you knew that any uncomfortable experience you would provide yourself would cause you to seek comfort? And what if you knew the only manner you would do this is to be yourself fully? Now you understand your life. It was so surprising to read that message because I had no memory of it, but I also know that it's absolutely true because that's what I've lived. And because see, when you move through the restrictions that you've had on yourself, you start to heal in a different way. You start to get a little bit younger too because you become joyful, you become happy. And then you're putting a different energy into the world and then we see the world change. So that's how you change the world. It's within all of us, but see, sometimes we don't want to own who we are. We don't want to look at ourselves, and that's what's happening in our world right now. So to be told that I was given a philosophy that was going to change this was challenging for me to accept, except now I know that it's true, because the only difficulty anyone has is not knowing who they are, not releasing the old stuff that could be generational beliefs or from your ancestors or your parents or whoever you picked it up because there are always limitations and restrictions that's how we live as humans but when we can move over that then we put something different into the world because we've started to understand that everything is energy the entire universe and then we have control of it but that control is in one place it's in our thoughts it's in our consciousness and that consciousness gets changed over time everyone won't do that and so you get to decide how am I going to do that? Because it's within you. And so now I have to decide that I'm doing this as well because I'm going to be taking this to so many people. I must tell you, um, being the introvert that I am, it was never um, comfortable for me to even do this or to put this work together. I spent 35 years de delving into all of this work and just writing it all. And I come to find out that I have this like encyclopedia of personal development and self-actualization and ascension. And the result happens is that you come out happy. You come out loving yourself and you release the judgment. And I know that it works and anybody who would use it, they would help to change the world because the, the greatest thing that happens is that you finally release your self-judgment. That's what happens. And then you start to love yourself, and that's entirely new energy. And then you start looking at other people in a different way as well. But we will move through a period where there are not going to be so many people who will understand that or do it even. And so you get to decide if you are going to be the one to do it. And then I'll tell you something else, because... Um, we each develop different skills and abilities in our in our lives. Mine was obviously to pre, receive precognitive information that could guide us through this period in the world, which my Wilhelm is called a restructuring. And I know that that's true. And if you look at the message tomorrow and the date tomorrow, you'll see that it it's another reveal. The biggest irony of your life, you'll see that one because that is the irony. We we all we're ever trying to do is become ourselves, but breaking through that barrier which only exists in our consciousness again is what's challenging and right now what we're moving through in our world is this whole shift and so we're deciding which people matter which people are more important and so the only thing you have to do is decide how important you are and start to own that because that's an energy again that you are a creative energy that you're putting into the world that says you love yourself and you're going to keep developing who you are and keep moving and then the world ex expands and evolves that's where we are and so i'm going to keep doing that and i hope you do as well please share this video with others and subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here 
but you will find so much value in this message, the one that's on the site, anyadvicefortoday.com today, and tomorrow you'll get another one that will even help you more uh, actualize who you're meant to become, because every single person born has worth and value just waiting to be developed. That's all. See you soon.